Unfortunately, showers and thunderstorms are going to continue to fire as we go into the next two to three days, and that's going to be a problem for flash flooding. We've already got flash flood warnings still up for another little bit here in Guilford County. We've had two to three inches falling in one hour's time. You can see the upper level influence. We have the surface features going with a little area of lower pressure, helping to really bring that moisture together right over the foothills and mountains earlier in the afternoon, and those storms continue to rotate and fill in over the Piedmont. Right now, the light rain continues to roll down from Blues Creek out through Winston-Salem, Tobaccoville, and up into Yakin County. Now in the northern sections, we're getting some heavier to moderate showers that are continuing in Ladonia, Fancy Gap, and Mount Airy through Elkin right now. You missed out on the rounds of severe thunderstorms and heavy downpours earlier. Those flash flood warnings were in Wilkes County earlier with two to three there from rainfall totals. And two and a half inches just in the last 12 hours estimated in western parts of Greensboro near Latham Park area, two inches closer to Pleasant Garden. And we did have some reports coming in of some three inches near the Colfax area. But when you take a look over the last three days, it does give you a good picture of who's seen most rainfall. Some pockets here and there in Davidson County, anywhere from five to six inches there. And then we go north and you look at those one and a half to two inch totals as we back you into the foothills, even three to four in some areas of Wilkes County. A lot of folks, though, have missed out. Eastern sections of the Triad especially have been a little bit drier, so you're going to be able to handle heavier downpours. Unfortunately, that's not where the thunderstorms are going to be focused likely, at least initially to begin with. I think you're going to get a few more rounds going late Friday night and into Saturday to fill in over the Eastern Triad. 36 hundredths of an inch in about two hours time in Burlington. Muirfield about 2.83 inches. That was in just about an hour. Also, report from Andy Ewing, 3.25 inches in Colfax and in Greensboro, 2.01 at the airport. Port. So we've had enough rain, but we're getting more. You can see here by early morning fog, patchy showers are possible. More likely, though, that those thunderstorms are going to break out once we get into the heat of the day. These are going to be driven by some of the temperatures that are warming into the mid and upper 80s. We've got you near 86 degrees tomorrow in the triad, and you're going to feel like the 90s, unfortunately, if you get those sunshine spots. We had 90s today out in Burlington, and we've got those thunderstorms that are going to be more active for the Piedmont and especially areas of the triad as we go late tomorrow night into your early Saturday morning. But again, this is just a guide to show you what we have in terms of rounds of showers and storms a little bit better enhancement of the timing of those storms. We'll be able to give you more information tomorrow. All right, 73 degrees in Winston-Salem, 74 in Greensboro, 75 in Mount Airy right now. Highs at 91 in Burlington and 76 today in the Galax area. We've had 87 degrees, which is right about where we should be this time of the year. Record of 99 set back in 1918. And boy, would we love some sunshine. I think you're going to need a few hours of seeing at least peaks of sunshine mixed in with some clouds as we get you through nine through about noon. A little bit drier for folks in the tried one or two storms may begin to form around noon. Better rain chances a little later in the day and near 86 degrees for your afternoon high to low to mid 80s in the foothills too. And those foggy conditions will start off our morning as well in the mountains. Your storm chances could start earlier and set up sooner as we've got that moisture converging to the west. Temperatures will continue to fire up into the upper 70s. Your storm chances, as we mentioned, mostly late afternoon and into the evening for folks in the Piedmont and as of course we track tropical storm Josephine. The system is well over 1800 miles away from the North Carolina coast and we may keep the system away as the track does take it closer to Bermuda as we go into Tuesday of next week, hopefully by then downgraded to a tropical depression. Your seven day forecast more sunshine Monday and Thursday. Those are the drier days with upper 80s in the mix.